You join me in my front garden as I have been taking seats and things out of the Land Cruiser because the next part of my exciting project, remove the seats and all the carpets because I'm going to be doing a body lift. While I'm doing the body lift, I might as well put some extra sound deadening in. So I've been lifting up the standard carpet, which is already really great in terms of sound insulation. It is carpet, then it's plastic backed, and then it has two different layers of this sort of jute fibre stuff. Uh, and then on the panels themselves, it has this... Um, sound deadening, well it's like tar or bitumen and stuff and in some places it's actually double lined but what I'm going to do is add to this because in the sections between the brackets and the seat bolts and stuff I'm going to put, well it's kind of like mass loaded vinyl but it's not really let me read exactly what this stuff is this is PeaceMat XXX8 rubber sound deadening barrier it says it is MLV which is mass loaded vinyl. It's not adhesive, but it is glued to a top layer. So it looks like we've got about one and a half mil of rubber, and then on the back of it, this foam stuff glued to it. So that's a five meter roll apparently, which I intend to now peel out and then fit sections of it in the car before I put the carpets and all the chairs back in. Now, I'm not going to bother too much about the rear of the car because this is going to have drawers and things in the back here anyway, so it won't make much of a difference. But I've also got, I don't know what the name is, it's sticky silver bitumen stuff? Let me have a look here. It is... I've got packets of it here, but it is Dynamat Extreme. So it's the sort of stuff that's silver on the back and then it has this very sticky bitumen stuff underneath it. So I'm going to strategically put some of that in here and I'm going to keep some aside so that I can do the roof because in Land Cruiser there's some places above the driver and you know in this section above the, the headlining which really resonate and so I would like to keep some for dealing with the roof, some for putting some in the doors and then a few little patches here and there okay so that's the plan uh mass loaded vinyl carpets back down body lift and then profit three days later well today's little project involves having all the interior sitting on my floor because i've got 80 of these panels uh six mil uh, uh, sorry four millimeter bitumen backed sound matting and i'm just using one of these rollers and lining underneath, well, basically all the open metal spaces that I can find. So I've got three sheets on here, and then I've got this uh, six mil mass loaded vinyl with a rubber back. And so I've just cut a piece here. I don't have to stick this down, and it will go all the way up to just where the, the firewall pad ends. And I'll just have this one just up the front to meet it. And then I'll cut a hole out for this body mount, because I'm gonna have to take this body mount off today because we're doing a body lift but I'm going to do the whole car I've got all the seats and all the interior out this carpet's in pretty good condition but I'm just going to pull it back here's another piece of the mass loaded vinyl I've just cut it so that it will tuck underneath the seat belt clips and go around the seat belts on this end I'll have to do some trimming on the sides here but underneath it I'm also going to put some of the uh, bitumen uh, backed stuff. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to try to remove the minimal amount of interior trim because with 20 year old plastics whenever you remove something there's a chance that it'll break so I don't want to risk too much. But that's the plan for today. See if we can get some noise reduction in here. Right here's the passenger side. I'm not going to extreme lengths so like, I'm not doing every single inch because this stuff really isn't that effective, so it's not worth me spending an awful lot of time on it. Uh, but big panels I'm doing, here I had <laughs> I had one little piece of Dynamat Extreme uh, versus this stuff, which is just an off-brand cheaper thing. What I will say is that this Dynamat sticks a lot better, even though the cheap stuff is thicker. So anyway, get the big panels done. I'm not doing the part around the body mount because I need access there. Uh, so get that on and then find my next piece of mass loaded rubber backed vinyl and I'm just gonna stuff that in 
like a giant floor mat, get that tucked right in the corners there and get it far enough forward so that it doesn't foul any of my wiring loom or seat clips or anything like that. Give that the old squidgy squidgy and I'm keeping it away from the sides as well because I don't want to interfere with where all the carpet clips in. So um, maybe this, I mean this is definitely a shortcut, some people might frown upon this but this isn't all that effective so it's not worth wasting my whole day getting every little corner. Uh, but while I'm in here anyway, I might as well put in some cheap matting and add a little bit of sound deadening uh, on top of what's factory. So, same as before, it just goes up to meet where the, the firewall rubber comes down to, then it meets this extra vinyl, and I'll cut a little hole for my body with next. So here I am inside, just behind the driver's seat, where the passenger's feet go. Uh, I'm not doing all the way up the sides here because this is where the body mount is and then there's a plastic cover goes on here and I want that to fit back without any of the extra layers. So I'm just doing the general area, giving it a roll to stick it down. Really don't have to be too precise here because once the weight of the seats are back on and then the mass loaded vinyl and then the main carpets as well, which also have an underlay layer. Don't have to be too precise. I'm just whacking it on. Just making sure that I leave a hole for the seat belt, uh, the, the front seat mount. There's a threaded hole there that needs to stay clear. So I'll do this other side as well, and then flap this mass loaded vinyl back down on top before I uh, put the carpet back down. And there we go, I've now put down some bitumen mat in the back here. I've left a patch on the side there because I'm going to have to weld that. I don't want to just trash all the, the, the bitumen. I also had access under this side, so I've lined this wing. And this rear wing sounds way better now. That's the difference there. Wheel wells, one side that I can see, uh, six panels down the middle here just to help a little bit with the resonance and vibrations. And now I'm gonna get some mass loaded vinyl on the top of that. I'm not going overkill here. You're an adult, you can make your own decision. The manufacturers would have you believe that you need to have edge to edge coverage on this for it to have any effect. But as you just heard from me hitting the side panel there, one and a half roughly stuck on panels has improved the resonance on that uh, wing panel. So for me, it isn't worth it to line this entire thing. For you, maybe it is. Maybe you're a little more obsessive than I am. The bitumen, get some of that uh, roll on now, and then I can get some carpets back in. And here's our final total. We've got the three mil foil backed uh, bitumen. Then we've got six mil rubber backed foam. It's the first mass loaded vinyl and then we have 6mm just straight up MLV another big sheet I'm putting in as a pad and then I've cut just rough holes in each so that I can still get to the body mount because I'm going to change them today and there's a slight overlap there underneath the pedals but the carpets go down nice and snug no concerns there just need to tuck them under the pedals and everything lines up nicely and still get access to the seat bolts so that's pretty great uh, a little test drive last night and yes it was quieter uh, with all these extra layers in now i'm going to do the same on the other side and one last strip through the middle since i have some leftover mlv there it is on the table there got that leftover from another job that's this side done same idea foil backed bitumen foam rubber backed and then proper mass loaded vinyl and I've just put in a couple of little scraps here uh, next to next to the heater blower here's a look at how the back is doing on this one I haven't done the uh, bitumen stuff because under here it's all covered by the back seats anyway so minimal vibration lots of structural hard points so not a lot of resonance happening here so I haven't put the metal sheeting down but I've got a rubber layer cut so that it tucks underneath the various seat brackets then in the foot area 
couple of layers of the mass loaded vinyl and I've run some power so that that comes up uh, under this uh, panel here, just four screws to remove that and so now I'll have heavy gauge positive and negative there so that I can run things like USBs and then that's it, just need to velcro this down and before I completely finish this job I'm going to change the fuel filter it's almost like a little sachet thing that stops the uh, fuel from picking up garbage but it's 20 years old so I might as well replace that before I button everything down One week later Now that the sound editing is finished we're out on a family road trip we're going up to a forest for some driving and take the dog for a walk so I've got the baby and the dog in he's playing with his toys in the back the sound level in here has had a meaningful drop. I don't have a decibel meter, but it's now easy to hold a conversation at 70 miles an hour, which is the speed limit. So 60 or 70 miles an hour. Much more comfortable to hold a conversation here. I'm really, really pleased because even with the rough cuts and I didn't do full edge to edge layers, you know, I didn't, didn't invest a lot of time in it. But what a difference. And certainly having spent maybe a hundred quid on materials, a two, two thumbs up recommendation, this is worth doing. Even my wife said, ooh, no one gives an ooh. So you can tell she's excited. So, sound editing, worth doing. If you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, make good decisions and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.